Okay, we are live. You ready, Lori? Okay, this is Karen from the Shabby Attic, and we are taking a cabinet, TV cabinet, right there, and we're going to be turning into uh, a mudroom locker or possibly a mudroom bench. So here we go. We have taken off, whoa, spinning the doors. These are the doors right there, and the doors are going to become the inside of that piece and the top up there is going to get baskets and down below we have drawers possibly a bench seat going inside of that uh, this was a piece that was donated by one of our customers and she said to work our magic so that's what we're going to do so we'll see you guys later with the results bye Okay, so the doors are off and what we've done is we've gutted out the inside and the doors fit exactly on the inside back, if you can see that, of our piece. And that's going to be our new backboard. And we're going to put hooks in, we're going to install some hooks. Well, first we're going to screw that in and make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then um, we'll see in a little bit. Again. It's kind of a cheat. Whenever you can do this, it's better than measuring. Um, so you're going to take your pencil, I've got my piece lined up, and I'm just going to mark right here where the wood needs to be cut. And that should cut it to fit. So when I take this board, cut it down, put it in the back, it should be an exact fit. So there you go. Okay, so our support board is up and installed, and now we're going to start installing the doors as a backboard. And that's my son's wagon right there. Okay, so Lori has fitted our doors in. Say hi, Lori. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and I found baskets that we had in the shop that actually fit perfectly up at the top. Then, as you can see down, there you go, you can see. Right there, there's a little wood piece that we're going to add as sort of as a center divide because I think we're going to use this as sort of like a mudroom storage piece for kids to put all their junk in. We're going to have hooks across here. And we figured we put a little bit of a divide between the two spots so that kids don't say, Who's stuff touching my stuff? Oh my gosh. So that way we're going to put these little divides in. Um, this actually came, these, there's a pair of these, and they came off of another piece of furniture. And we just happened to have them laying around and we thought they would make the little dividers for our piece. So anyway, so we're going to keep rolling. Okay, so we have our piece assembled and now we're sanding it down. You see over here, we're going to give it a good sanding and we're going to give it a coat of chalk paint. 